Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. Let's continue our lecture. So what we're going to do next is we're going to learn how to solve quadratic inequalities by graphical approach. A quadratic inequality is an inequality of the form ax squared plus bx plus c less than zero where a, b and c are real numbers with a is not equals to zero. The inequality symbols less than or equals to, greater than, greater than or equals to may also be used. Now let's focus on a. If a is positive, then we're going to have a smile graph. Let's denote the x-intercept as P and Q. If y is positive, then the solution is going to be on the left and right of the graph, where x is less than P or x is greater than Q. We can also use the symbol union. If y is negative, then the solution is going to be in the middle here. Therefore, x is greater than p and x is less than q. But what if our a is negative? Then we're going to have a sad graph. If y is positive, then the solution is going to be x is less than p or x is greater than q. If y is negative, then the solution is going to be in the middle. x is greater than p and x is less than q. This is a general idea on how to solve quadratic inequalities. You may use your own way, but need to show the graphical approach. Let us start. It doesn't matter what is the sign here. First, you need to make sure that both A is positive and all the variables are on the left-hand side. So you're going to use the smile graph. Second, make sure that 0 is on the right-hand side. Next, you need to factorize your quadratic inequality. And last one, the solution must be written in either in solution set or interval form unless stated. Example 2. Solve the following inequalities using graphical approach. x squared plus 6x plus 5 greater than 0. First thing first is to make sure our a is positive and all the variables is on the left hand side. And we also need to make sure that 0 on the right hand side. So the next step that we're going to factorize our quadratic inequalities. So the linear factors are x plus 5 and x plus 1, which is greater than 0. Now, let's draw a smile graph because our a is positive. The linear factor here is x plus 5, then the x-intercept is negative 5, and if the linear factor is x plus 1, then the x-intercept is negative 1. So make sure that the smaller value is on the left-hand side and the larger value is on the right-hand side. Now, the solution, if our y, this is our y, is greater than 0, is this arrow that going to the left means that our x is approaching to negative infinity to negative 5 exclusively and this is negative 1 exclusively and this right side arrow means that our x is approaching to positive infinity then we would like to combine these two infinite intervals with union 6 minus 7x minus 3x square is greater than 0. If we look at our a here, it is negative. To make it positive, we need to multiply both sides of our inequality with negative 1. So let us multiply the left side with a negative 1. So we're going to get positive 3x square, positive 7x, and negative 6. If we multiply both sides of our inequality with a negative number or negative value, we need to change our sign. So from greater than, we're going to write down less than. So multiply 0 with a negative 1 is 0. 
Now our a is positive and all the variables are on the left hand side. So that's with zero, it is on the right hand side. Now let us factorize. So we're going to get the linear factor x plus 3 times with 3x minus 2 less than 0. Let us draw a small graph for x plus 3, the x-intercept is negative 3, and for 3x minus 2, the x-intercept is 2 over 3. Since our y is less than 0, then the solution is going to be in the middle here. Then we can write down the solution as an open interval negative 3 to 2 over 3. 10 minus x greater than or equals to 2x squared. Our 2x squared is on the right hand side. So what we're going to do is we're going to swap the left hand side with the right hand side so that our 2x squared is on the right hand side. When we do so, the inequality sign will be reversed. Now from greater than or equals to, it becomes less than or equals to. Next, let us bring 10 minus x to the left hand side. Then it becomes 2x squared plus x minus 10 less than or equals to 0. Now our a is positive, all the variables are already on the left hand side and 0 on the right hand side. Let us factorize. We have the factor 2x plus 5 times the x minus 2, which is less than or equals to 0. We draw a graph, then the linear factor 2x plus 5, we have the intercept negative 5 over 2, and for the linear factor x minus 2, we're going to get the x-intercept x equals to 2. Now, if we look at the inequality sign here, it means that y is less than or equal to 0, which is mean the solution will be in the middle of our graph here, so that x will be in the middle. Negative 5 over 2, it is a smaller value than it's going to be on the left hand side, and 2 will be on the right hand side because it is larger. And let us put the symbol of less than or equals 2 on left and right of x. Open curly bracket, x, the semicolon, and close curly bracket. So we have x is such that x is greater than or equals to negative 5 over 2, and x is less than or equals to 2. So this is a common mistake that students used to do, where writing the wrong sign like this or probably like this. This is an example of compound inequalities where it can be written as x squared minus 9 greater than or equals to 0 and x squared minus 9 less than or equals to 8x. We can use symbol of intersection instead of the word n. So let us solve the first part first. We have x squared minus 9 greater than or equal to 0. Our a is already positive and 0 is on the right hand side. Let us factorize x plus 3 times x minus 3 greater than or equal to 0. Then draw a small graph. For the linear factor x plus 3, the x intercept is negative 3, and for x minus 3, the x-intercept is positive 3. Since our y is positive, then the solution will be x is such that x is less than or equal to negative 3 union with x is greater than or equal to 3. Now let's do the second part. We have x squared minus 9 less than or equal to 8x. Let us bring 8x to the left hand side so that on the right hand side is 0. Then let us factorize x plus 1 times with x minus 9 less than or equal to 0. So draw a small graph. So for the x plus 1, the x-intercept is negative 1. For x minus 9, the x-intercept is positive 9. So y is less than or equal to 0. Then the solution will be in the middle here. And we may write down our solution as x is such that x is greater than or equals to negative 1 and x is less than or equals to 9. Next, let us do some intersection for these two solutions. So draw a number line. First, for x less than or equals to negative 3, a closed circle and left side arrow. 
for x greater than or equals to 3, a closed circle and right side arrow. Last one, for x is greater than or equal to negative 1 and x is less than or equal to 9, draw two closed circles and connect them with a straight line. Now let us find the intersections where two lines overlap. So this is the section where the two lines overlap. We have the solution as x is such that x is greater than or equal to 3 and x is less than or equal to 9. Please click the link in the description box below for Google Form exercise and answer. Thanks for learning. Sincerely, Teacher 1.